Hey there, it's Simon here. Thanks very much for checking out this lesson on River by Joni Mitchell. We're going to get straight into it. Tuned regularly, this is an arrangement for the guitar. If you would like the chart, go to patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. All right, so here's how it goes. We're going to play a C first. Now your thumb is generally going to play the bass notes. So the A string and the D string in the case of this C major chord. And your uh, second and third fingers are going to play the jingle bells bit. And then your index finger is going to play the G string in the middle. All right, so we've got one and two and. So I'm playing all together one and two and. Now there on the two, I switched my thumb from the A string to the D string. All right, so we've got one and. second bar we can see something's changed we've got one and so my pinky is gone on my left hand it's playing the G on the high E string all right so we've got one uh, one and then we're going to walk up the C major chord and then there's a D note there on the B string third fret of the B string so that second bar is And then we've got A minor, and that's very similar to the very first bar. We're going to go one and two and three and four and, but we're playing an A minor instead of the C. Right, fourth bar, one and two. Now, what uh, Joni does here is that that is a bit later and holds a bit longer. Okay, so we're going to get one and two and three and four and. Similar sort of thing again open, pinky on the high G, making this an A minor 7 chord, and then we're going to go, move your pinky back to the D, and then we're going to play an F major 7. Okay, so there I've got my thumb playing the low F, I've got uh, 1, 2, 3 playing the F major 7. So that I'm doing the same kind of rhythm, 1 and So, one and two and three and four and, same kind of thing, right? But E and A strings in the bass. And then we've got, move my pinky onto the D there in the F. And then we're going to play this kind of G chord where we've got G, the normal sort of G chord. Right. Except my pinky has stayed on the B string, and we're going to play So we go from a regular G to a G sus4 And then another G So then we've got the two G's second finger is going to go on A, a G add 9, and there's a low B, uh, low G rather, and then the two open notes of G major chord, okay? So that whole section goes like this. We've got C. that is easily the trickiest bit of this arrangement um, it'll take you a little while to get going if you want to just play the chords you could do that too all right moving into the verse we've got four bars of exactly the same phrase we're going to play a C sus4 which has got three three zero one we're just going to walk up that so ba 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 right so and then we're going to go to a C major so we're just going to go pinky on, pinky off, pinky on, pinky off, pinky on, pinky off, four bars. And then we're going to move into bar 13 on my chart.
right here, A minor. Pretty straightforward, except that D there in the chord. So we're gonna walk up and down. Uh, five, four, three, two, three, four, and then pinch. And then your uh, thumb on the um, D string, so. finger there if you wanted to and then we're going to go back into A minor regular exactly the same pattern right except without the pinch so those bars 13 and 14 are and then G major right so that bar G pinch, the G sus4, right, and then the D, and then this little line that goes G. So we've got G, and then the D string, and then the D string. Now your second finger goes on that A note again, which makes it a G add 9. Take it off, and then hit the low G. All right, so that uh, little section at the beginning of the verse there, we get C, ma uh, C, uh, C sus4, sorry. We get four of these. And then A minor. Pinch. A minor. G major. And then we have the sort of second half of the verse, and it's very similar. We're going to play same thing. Then G. Now this is different. Okay, so we're going to play in bar 23 there. We've got G, G, G. Right, now we're going to play a little sort of sus4 thing here. And then open. Okay, so we've got open D there is that we're going to be changing to an F major chord here. So chorus. G. C. So we're going to play an F, right? or you could play an F bar chord, it's up to you. And then a G major, up and down, and then C major, up and down. So you see what I'm doing here, I'm basically employing the same kind of pattern every single time. So one and two and three and four and down then we're going to do this cool thing that goes F C with an E bass and then we're going to get a D minor D sus4 slide that up here it's kind of like a D minor 7 or F with a D bass whatever you want to call it so we've got D minor sus4 D minor D sus4 so uh, it's actually not as hard as it looks. So D minor, pinky, yeah, then back down to the D sus4, okay. And then we are going to play a C major, and then into an F. So one and two and three, then we're going to walk up a G major, one and two and three and four, and exactly like we did before, 
Here we're going to play an F major 7. So this is an A minor chord note with an F in the bass. So A minor with an F bass or F major 7. We're going to play 1 and 2 and, and they're going to do a big pinch, right? Exactly what she does on the piano. Walk up. And then I made my baby cry a bit. C major. Now, and then he plays a little piano part which we're going to copy. We're going to. Okay, so we've got C major. And then we're going to pinch the top two. And then hit that D note, uh, E note again on the D string. And then your pinky goes on the C add 9. And then you're going to walk up a regular C. So it's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. And then A minor. So there in bar 38 we have a regular A minor. But you're just going to lift your first finger to an A sus 2. And then put it down. So you're going to get A. in the next bar. Okay, so those two pinches, one and two and three and four and. And then we're going to play G major. Okay, and we come to that end of that section. So let's just sort of figure out how that works. Just a G there, we're going to go G, D, G, A, G, D, G, D, and then the walk up and down that we've had before. Okay, so that uh, whole line from 37 through whatever that is, 40. A minor, open, up and down, pinch, G major, walk. Okay, right. Now, so after that section, we're going to run straight back into the verse and play it exactly the same as we did earlier. Exactly the same. Um, until we get to what I've called chorus two on the uh, chart here. So that's the bit when it moves into the F. I wish I had a river, right? So F, G, similar in the four, C. Now, when it goes to the F section here, C over E, and it does the same sort of thing, but it goes up from D minor 7 to G over D. Okay, there's kind of a bit of a hold up there, so it's just slightly, slightly different from the first time around. So let's just play that. G major. C major, F, C of E, D minor, two, C, four, G, F major seven, sorry. Made my baby cry. hit verse 3 where we have all that and that basically is exactly the same and this really is the kind of outro of the song same as we had before right and then we get A minor now um, the last uh, sort of 24 bars of the song, it really just sort of meanders out, somewhat like a river. 
So we are going to play this G uh, add nine. So you need your third finger there, put your second finger on A. And you can just walk up that. Right, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Now she is doing some extra stuff on the piano which I haven't notated, but you could do some nice things by using your pinky on the D, your first finger on the C, and then you're open. So you could have... lines. So there's eight bars of G basically. One, two, three, somewhat like that. Okay, then we've got an F, one and two, and you can do the same thing with the D and the C over there. Even lifting your second finger up to expose a G underneath. And then the final chord is a D7 with no third in it. So basically how that looks is you bar the fifth fret, you're gonna play, right? So that means five, seven, five, seven. And it just finishes on a D. And that is how you play The Whole of River by Joni Mitchell. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you would like the chart, go to patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It's a remake from one I made years and years ago. So hopefully it has been helpful. If you made it to the end, let me know in the comments by saying, I made it. Good luck with it. Again, if you want the chart, go to patreon.com. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.